Here are four different ways to make passive income that nobody talks about, but you need to know. Let's be honest, everybody wants to know how to earn some extra cash while not spending too much of his free time. And it's understandable, building passive income streams is an essential way in achieving financial freedom. And according to a recent study, more than 80% of millionaires worldwide have at least three different income streams with various degree of passiveness. The four ways I'll show you are extremely powerful because of their infinite scalability. You could literally grow them to very substantial cash flows. For each of those four ways, I'm going to discuss how hard is to get started, how hard is to get revenue in, and then how hard is to maintain it after you create the thing in the first place. For me personally, in my business, those four streams combined generate on average around $5,000 per month with variability of course. However, obviously this took me more than two years to get to this point. So don't expect to be hitting the huge numbers when you initially get started. But this is the video where I show you four slick passive income ideas I wish I knew when I initially started on my financial independence journey a few years ago. So let's get started. The first one is to create your own Discord community or your own Discord server. Actually, Discord can be a very powerful way for you to make passive income because of its infinite scalability. And that means it can be a very lucrative way as well. For example, take a look at Andrew Tate's Discord community where he has more than 170,000 people inside which are paying $50 per month subscription. So for those of you who are not familiar with Discord, Discord is one of the fastest growing applications used on the internet and it's uh, all about servers which are like chat rooms but it more appropriately you can imagine it as a house where you have different rooms within this house. So you can monetize a Discord community in a versatile ways which makes it so powerful as well and one of the main ways you can do it is have a fully free community which is like a niche community and then people People are joining for free however inside your server inside your house you have three or four rooms which are like VIP rooms and in order for people to join them they have to pay either a one-time fee or monthly subscription to you the second model is that you have a fully paid community so there is a paid wall in order to enter into the community you have to pay a subscription and that's what exactly Andrew Tate model is all about he has entry fee or monthly subscription of $50 for people to join and then he has all those different rooms where you can learn a different skill how to make money online that's one of the most powerful ways for you to make passive income with discord but there is a third mixed model where you have a free community but then you have rooms with different tiers inside so one tier maybe ten dollars per month another tier maybe fifty dollars per month obviously you can get quite creative with how you can monetize your discord community but if you're wondering how to get people in your discord community there is a well-known website called hoop where you can find all different discord servers and communities and you can get users inflow actually you can see all those different niches they have here as well if they put a check mark on your server that means that you're doing more than 50,000 of revenue per month in my case I have mixed my programming skills with discord to build some sort of a software as a service application and the value I provide to people is in terms of the algorithmic trading strategy signals that can help help you out, go into more profitable investments and trades. And that comes because I have the skill to program and backtest any trading strategy and as a consequence find profitable strategies that I can then deploy into automated bots and alert systems that then give me alerts when to enter and where to when to exit for, from a given stock. Obviously make profit in the end. For this whole service, people that are joining in the service pay me a monthly subscription of $20. So Discord is a very powerful way to you for you to make passive income 
and let's move to the side hustle assessment table and give some scores to Discord. I would say in difficulty to get started, Discord gets three stars because it's not too easy to find a niche, build a community, set up all the automations in the server itself. It would need quite some work to build everything as well post your community on the internet. In terms of how difficult it is to get revenue in, it is very easy. That's why I'll put one star rating so the easiest is to get. And in terms of how difficult it is to maintain it, I'll put two stars because you need to be present there and you need to engage with people from time to time. As well, you may need to maintain and change things, come up with new room ideas, etc. The second passive income idea is to create your own algorithmic trading strategy. This is a little bit like investing. However, it's not exactly like the advice you get from uh, other YouTubers where they say, just invest an index ETF or in the SPY SPX and yes you can do that and you get 8% return per year. However one of my strategies made 81% total return for less than nine months. So you understand the difference, right? However, this idea is not following the exact workflow as the other ones because the value you're creating is only for yourself. And in this sense, you need to do a little bit different things in order to set up your own profitable strategy. For example, you may need to research one, backtest one. You can hire a developer on Fiverr to do that for you, but you may need to put up some work upfront to understand more about the, how things work in the market and how to find a profitable strategy. I can tell you from my experience, it may be a very simple one or it may be more complex one, but in the end, if you find a profitable strategy, that's a very lucrative way to earn passive income and very scalable as well, because it's percentage return. Whatever money you deploy, that's the return on that money you get. Usually after you find them, you need to deploy and follow them for uh, quite some time. You can do fully automatic strategies or you may build an alert system then which spits alerts for you and then you decide whenever you get the alert you decide what to do do you want to follow the strategy and invest or you don't want to follow the strategy at this particular moment that's uh, like an added layer of analysis which this approach to investment gives you and i uh, very much enjoy so yeah that's uh, i have algorithmic trading strategies which i have deployed in my discord already you know that can be a very very interesting way for you to earn passive income but as a caveat, of course, you need to put a lot of work up front. So moving to the side hustle assessment table, which we have difficult to start with the algorithmic trading strategy, I will put four stars out of five because it is quite difficult to set up. You may need to invest a little bit. You may need to hire a Fiverr developer to backtest your strategy, then another developer to automate it. In terms of difficulty to make profit and return, I would say a one star out of five. It is very easy to do. As long as the strategy is profitable, you just follow it and it's easy to, to make money from it. However, in terms of maintaining it, I would say three out of five it is uh, difficult to ma maintain because at some point you need to decide to either stop trading this strategy because it's getting arbitraged away. There is no strategy that will work forever. You need to know that. So at some point you may need to um, decide to move on and find a new strategy. If you figure all those things out, I think you'll be very good with passive income from algorithmic trading strategies. Moving to the third way to make passive income and that is so-called SaaS or software as a service. It is about you building a software solution or an application which solves a problem for people and then uh, they pay you for that. So generally you create value to people by solving one, one of the problems they may have and they are willing to pay you either with monthly subscription or one-time license purchase. There are numerous examples right now of uh, businesses which are software as a service. It is very, can be very lucrative way because of the infinite scalability to make passive income. You just need to 
onboard people and once you have the software and it's working you can onboard as many people as you want and then think about it your profits are scaling and growing exponentially that's why companies like microsoft nvidia google are trillion dollar companies they have a software that is very scalable in terms of users and then in terms of revenue so uh however some examples which are more close to us some startups recently Canva is a software as a service company. They provide you software to edit uh, and create designs. Another one is ChatGPT. It's an AI as a service company, but generally you have access to the software, which is AI, and then you pay a monthly subscription if you want the premium version. Another one, maybe one of those uh, other AI startups right now where you just provide some text and they are spitting out either a thumbnail or a, a fully automated video, something like that. So that's it's about software as a service and moving to our side hustle assessment table difficulty to start it it's five out of five it would be very difficult to start it if you don't know coding because you need to hire freelancers full-time developer working for you it would be quite difficult if you have no knowledge about coding i give a score of five out of five it's not only building the software you need to build a website you need to figure out how are you going to market it all those stuff but after you set it up making money out of it is I would say two out of five stars again because you will need to have some ongoing cost to maintain it difficulty to maintain I would say four out of five stars because with software everything would always break down and there you need somebody to fix it there are updates to the software new packages come uh, online dependencies change all those things that a developer needs to maintain for you so it will be quite difficult and you need to spend money on that next passive income idea is digital products guys and I know you may already be familiar with digital products and think it's a BS however the genius thing about digital products is that ultimately you have to create them once and then you can resell them over and over and over again in that sense they have limitless scalability digital products can be things like online courses ebooks templates or content in my case i have an online course based around how to build algorithmic trading strategies and how to find profitable trading strategies it is actually a very stable income stream stream over the months. Digital products can be a very nice way for you to create passive income for yourself. However, the difficulty comes that you need to create something of a value and then you need to market it. I've seen a lot of people fall short exactly on this phase because they have expertise and knowledge. So then they create a course, but they don't market it and they don't get any sales. They don't talk about it anywhere or do any ads and they get no sales or the other way around they create something that they don't put too much effort in and then it's not a good product in the end and people just don't like it and don't buy it if you figure out how to build up something of a value and then you have a marketing strategy digital pros can be a very powerful way in your arsenal to create passive income for you when we move to the assessment graph i put the difficulty to start digital products to be two out of five stars because it doesn't take too much effort as long as you have some knowledge in some niche and you are willing to build up the thing in the first place in terms of how easy it is to get revenue in out put again two stars because you need to find a way to market it and get people in to get the revenue and that that means you may have to invest in ads or do for example content which brings people to your course page how hard is to maintain it i would say that's one star it's very easy to maintain it once you set it up it's up there and you pretty much don't have to do a lot of work or any work however you still need to market it and that's it for this video guys thank you very much for watching it thumbs up subscribe and in the future videos i'm going to talk about the one skill you need to learn to master online business